Hey guys, I'm back again. My name is Shan, and today we are going to talk about um, Terraform. So, uh, yeah, what is what is Terraform? What problem it is solving in the area of DevOps? Um, what it is? Who has developed Terraform, and how companies are using Terraform to help uh, their infrastructure uh, getting to a to a different level and manage infrastructure a bit uh, more uh, easier way. So let's get started. So Terraform is, is an open source platform to manage your infrastructure, uh, starting from your low level to high level. When I say low level, you can manage your entire infrastructure, creating a virtual machine, uh, virtual networks, and a lot of other things. Uh, Terraform is, comes under infrastructure as a code service, which means you can manage your um, infrastructure pretty much as a code, which developer also does for their application, which means with Terraform you can go through the entire life cycle of what developer has been doing going through for so many years uh, so you can you can uh, you can collaborate with your infrastructure code uh, within your DevOps team or infrastructure team uh, you can make some changes in your code and uh, get it reviewed by one of your uh, colleagues and raise a pull request for that and uh, make some changes and then merge back uh, the changes to the branch so that's that's how Terraform actually helps you to collaborate um, within the team so this is developed uh, Terraform is developed by an open source uh, company called HashiCorp and uh, the language which is used to write Terraform code is is in a HashiCorp configuration uh, language which is called as HCL as well um, HashiCorp was started in 2000 uh, 12 and they have uh, uh, they have fleet of products around uh, Packer, Vagrant and a lot of these products they have so you can just go to their site and uh, check all these products they have Vagrant, Packer, Terraform, Vault, a um, lot of other open source uh, the best part is all of these tools are open source so you don't get to pay anything you don't pay anything to get started of it and you can yeah that's, that's, that's the best part about the uh, tool so yeah so that's 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 about uh, hashicorp what it has been doing how it is solving the problem coming back to terraform uh, so terraform is uh, so terraform let's go back to the site and talk a bit more about terraform terraform helps you to manage your code um, why terraform over other uh, other other technologies or other piece of software which is available in the market so currently if you're using amazon so first of all terraform can be used to manage any of those public clouds like azure gcp or amazon uh, talking about azure generally we manage azure via powershell or json file um, or gui so downside of, all the, uh, of using all these technologies gui it's, it's a manual effort so it takes a lot of time to manage your infrastructure powershell you got to got to dig d logically you have to write a code from scratch uh, it's it's not easy if you're just getting started off with you got to put a lot of logics into it and you got to debug a lot um, and you do not have you don't you you, do, you can't collaborate with, with within PowerShell you cannot share your code you'll have to manually share it over the email or FTP with Terraform you can share your code similarly what developer does so that that's one of the one of the uh, plus point we have with terraform you do not do not have to it's pretty easy to start off with because you d it's a declarative language which means you declare your variables your param uh, variables against the parameters so you don't need to write anything from scratch rather do you rather you declare your uh, infrastructure which means so taking this example if you, if you look at the example you just declare everything you select the resource means air blue s electric elastic uh, load balancer it's a, it's going to be a front end load balancer means you're just talking to uh you're just communicating with the with the console you're not telling him to do anything it will do on, on, on its own you just give it a name of the road balancer and then all the parameters you have and yeah that's pretty much it so so it looks very simple and it it works as as uh, uh, pretty simple as well so let's get started uh, let's let's uh, let me let me uh, get you take you through how to install uh, terraform on windows so uh, 
just click on this download button and uh, select the appropriate version for your windows for my uh, my my machine is a 64 bit machine so i have downloaded it already once you have downloaded it um you go to save it one of the folder i have saved it in my c drive and then once you have downloaded uh what you just need to do it you need to go to your um pc uh and click on properties all right and you click on advance you go to environments variable and you define where your path is so that's gonna be um terraform uh, just give it a name it can be any fictitious name uh, uh values it's gonna be your uh, file where you have saved your um saved your uh, terraform terraform uh, binary so that's gonna be ops code just click ok so that's that's pretty much it and you just need to save it so terraform is a single binary file uh, it, do not, it doesn't contain much of those uh, files and folders you need to have those installation complete it's just a single binary file that is terraform.exe you just need to run it click and click um, just just click on click right click and install it once this is done you can and once uh, your installation is done you have made the changes uh, the binary uh, the path changes on the environment variables you just open your command line and run it as an administrator so what you do is you go to cd into the path where your uh, direct uh, your binary terraform installation file is being kept so you go to cd ops code that's just the name of the folder i have given you can give it any name cd terraform um, so you just run terraform.exe and your terraform is pretty much accessible now so if i type terraform hyphen v it gonna give it's gonna give me the version of terraform so if you could just enlarge this you'll see a lot of uh, these values so how you get get started so once you have done the installation um how do you edit your file so you edit your file by uh, all your files are known as uh, are saved at an extension of dot tf so you mention all your resources over here so i'm just gonna mm, not gonna do much over here and save as in the in my folder over here uh, oops code and that's gonna be my um, demo dot tf file once i save this this is saved okay yes so i've saved my uh terraform file how do you run the the this file so simply go type in terraform plan so this will fetch all uh, the files you have under the folder and you can see that there's already an error so i mean obviously we were expecting an error this video is not about debugging these errors it's about how to get started so you click on terra you just type in terraform plan and it it scan your file scans your file and and tells you what it will run so once you you you, you uh, once it has given you what to run then you this will not run actually this will just uh, show you these are the changes which you are going to apply to your infrastructure so once you type in terraform apply this is going to uh, run the file and make all the changes into your infrastructure there are a lot of other things which is available actually terraform graph which actually shows you what 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 is actu uh, the graphical representation of what is actually uh, happening inside terraform uh, terraform destroy is one of those powerful which uh, which 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 kind of kind of deletes your which 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 deletes your entire infrastructure uh, on to mention on to that terraform file so if you just click uh, type in terraform destroy um, this will delete your entire infrastructure uh, mention on the terraform file yeah so that was about how to uh, install and get started with um, terraform this was just a tutorial video how to get started and install and what is terraform how it is 
uh, how it is evolving and making a difference in the area of DevOps, what problem it is solving. Uh, 